M0FXB Alinco DJX100 new firmware is now available. So go to the link I provide in the description, scroll to the bottom and the important bit I'm, that I'm using is update tool version 4.04. .04. There's a 03 but I'm using 04. So click that and it goes up to your downloads folder. Click the zip that appears. Within this, you've got the change log, which is massive. Yeah, it says here that the major changes they are they are removing DCR, but um adding in NXDN and VN modes are added. So mm, okay. Um, but then there's lots and lots of small ones here. I'm not gonna read all that, I'll put the description in. So lots and lots of little things that they've corrected. Apparently there's a new drop-in charger now for the EU model as well. And this firmware goes on the T and the E model. And they say they've improved AM sensitivity. So I'm going to double click the firmware loader. Just double click. I'm pretty sure that the firmware is within that. Just click run anyway and you get this small little box. Connect your cable to the radio in the normal way. Connect it to your PC and get the COM number. There's our little box that we get, it's very small, my comms too, to find your com, there it is there, um, you want to go right click device manager, just do that again, right click device manager, and then the com, scroll down on the left and look for com ports let's see that port double click and i'm down it just says usb device com 2 i find if i don't plug it into the blue one i get an error so the you know the usb that's got blue but anyway um so then we've got it we've selected everything so let's just click update and hopefully it's just going to do it i don't see that we have to put it into update mode i'm just going to wait be patient, <laughs> try not to move anything. It did beep a bit then. Oh, I got an error, so I just do it again. And if that don't go in, I'll, I'll try the other one. Okay, second attempt and it went in fine. Let it do its thing. So it is the E version that I've used. I looked in the back of my radio and it did say E. So that's it, we're updated. If you look here, we go to VM and all my memories are still there. Let's find the version. So apparently we turn it off, hold down the top button and turn it back on. I'm pushing the wrong button. Yeah, the power button. And that should give us our version. There is a 400.04. So we've got the latest version there, as you can see. Now there are further downloads. If you look here, there is a position viewer software. And that works with your GPS, I believe. I, I, I'm i pretty sure I made a video, but it's been a while since I made that video. So I'm just going to run it for fun. And also, there's another one I'm seeing down there. That's a, a an editor. So basically adding memory channels using software. So there's our position view. You know, I have used this. I recognize it. So once set up correctly, I believe you do just connect the com. To. We've got GPS flashing, so there's no lock, unfortunately. But I will look at that. So it shows positions of you. I can't remember the other stations. The other one is, if you look back down here, you've got instruction manual, of course, brochure download, but you've got edit tool. And this is for the E model. Remember that I look. you need to look up if you've got the T or the E. I've been using the E, so version 4.004 .04 was E. So editing tool, quickly download that. I use RRUK to be honest, because RRUK, 
loaded all those memory channels in seconds, in seconds, and I think it's well worth the money, and plus they've got lots of other frequencies. Editing tool, it's, and it's been, a, you know, honestly, six months since I've used the editing tool. Let's just let that run. I did zip that, or put that file, that zip file of the editing tool into its own folder, otherwise it wouldn't open just that helps you to extract it to a folder. So now when I double click a link of edit here, the folder I created, you get this window. I've opened up my RRUK as well, because I haven't looked at that for a while. So double click edit tool, and now we have a proper shortcut that says uh, Alinko X100E. So I'm going to right click, see if I can run it as an administrator. And that should open up. Click more, then run. And you get this little symbol appear at the bottom, so you have to allow it. Go yes. I'm not sure why it won't open, but anyway, I'll go back to it. And then we've got, this is my RRUK. Let's see if this one connects. COM2, make sure the cable's connected. Connect and start. Ah, that's because I've got it connected to something else. Let me just do that. This is what the RRUK looks like when it opens. And you just select here, say airports. And if we click Blackpool and it puts the frequencies in, then you could just go to, say, Marine, add some more VHF, and you could do some amateur. And it adds them in, like say, 14, 4 meters, 6 meters, 70. And then you just click program and it just puts them into the memory channel. And it takes minutes. And here's the memory channel just here where it let me go into memory when it's connected. And then they're just all there. Okay, and look. So, you know, you decide air band, marine band. DMR, D-Star, Fusion, NXDN, it's just never ending. Not that I ever hear anyone using NXDN, but everyone seems to want it. Um, the editor. So it's possible we have to factory reset it to make the new editor software work, but maybe not. But I'm going to do it anyway because we have just done firmware. So all you do is press the top two buttons just there on the side while turning on. So turn it off with the bottom button. Press the top two, and then it's quite fiddly doing this. So top two, and then turn on. Hopefully we'll get the, yeah, reset all message. Turn to the left, and then we're going to press set. Of course, I'm going to lose all my memories and everything, but it's fine, so I want to have another go at RRUK. Which took me literally minutes. And the nice thing about this radio, it's really fast to put memory channels in. So we're all factory reset. Let's connect my cable again. And now see if our, our sorry, if um, the E tool, the editing tool now will talk to it. Okay, thanks so far. We will do some more videos. Catch you later. Please hit the like and subscribe, 7-3. I'll also link in my video to the Alinko editor.